My dear friends, it is a great pleasure and indeed an honor to join you in celebrating the first European Day of Early Music. I would like to take this opportunity to express my wholehearted support for this initiative and to wish it every success. It certainly deserves it. Early music is a central part of our shared cultural heritage as Europeans. It spans more than a millennium of music, from the Middle Ages to the end of the 18th century. It encompasses the work of masters like Monteverdi, Bach and Handel, and many more. Their work is a source of enjoyment to all of us and a powerful symbol of our civilization and of our common European identity. As such, it deserves to be promoted, highlighted, and brought to the widest possible audience. And the European Network for Early Music helps to achieve this. That is why the European Commission has been supporting the European Network for Early Music. And that is why we remain fully committed to maintaining and even reinforcing our support to culture and the arts. We have done it through the culture program and now we have proposed a new Creative Europe program from 2014 onwards. With its increased support for the arts sector, the new program will be the linchpin of our strategy for helping and promoting the cultural and artistic sectors. That all this matters is shown by events like today's. And may I say that I find it especially fitting that you chose to hold the first European Day of Early Music on 21st March. It is the anniversary of the birth of Johann Sebastian Bach, the most stupendous miracle in all music, as Wagner called him. It is also the first day of spring, a symbol of rebirth and renewal. And I have every confidence that today's initiative will help early music to continue to blossom and flourish in the future.